Hey everybody! Today I'm going to start a new video tutorial series specifically around array functions. Now why would I do this and what am I talking about? Well a client of mine came to me with a problem and the answer to the problem was actually what you see on the screen right now. It's a huge monstrous function with lots of things going on and a lot of people when they look at this immediately get turned off. But actually with just a couple of simple skills you can learn why I did what I did here and also figure out how to do one of your own for your own particular situations. The two really important things that are happening here are nesting and array functions. As you can see, the if function is there, and and is nested inside it, and is error is nested inside that, and index is nested inside that, and match is nested inside that, and concatenation is nested inside that. There's a lot of different functions happening here. And then the curly braces at the beginning and end of this function, those represent our array functions. Array functions are very particular ways of dealing with calculations that you need sometimes. And a lot of people just don't have any idea what they are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break this into a series of six different videos. The first video is this one, nested functions. And then three more nesting examples using if error, if and and, and index and match to all do different types of nested functions that are useful and helpful in larger systems. Once we're done with that, I'll tell you why you would use an array function, show you how to do it, and then the last video is going to be the big one. How do we use all of these different functions at the same time? Now once again, we're going to do nested functions here. Now what exactly is a nested function? It's very simple actually. When you have a, an individual function, the idea is that normally you would use references to different cells inside that. And those would be your arguments. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a function or a formula as one of the arguments in that function. Now I'll go ahead and show you what that means here in a second. Round, for example, is the function we're going to be doing in today's video. Round takes a number value and rounds it off to two or three digits, which is great. That's exactly what you would need in a lot of situations. But you, as you can see here, I've actually got A4, B4, and C4 multiplying by one another inside the function. Let's see this in action. As you can see here, I've got a column of total tax paid, and at the bottom of that is a grand total. But if you look very carefully at these numbers, 90 plus 42 plus 15 should not give me 46 at the end. Somehow that calculation is not coming out the way I would expect it to be. Let's go ahead and see that right here beside that. If I type in 490, 242, and 315, what should happen is that we should come out with 1047 because 90 plus 42 plus 15, the 0, 2, and 5 should add up to give us 7, not 6. Now why is it that that's occurred? Well, it's occurred that way because if I go up here and expand this out, you see that the number is actually not just the pure number. It's actually got a lot more decimals at the end. This has not been rounded off. Now, you and I both know, though, that when we pay money, we don't pay in tenths of cents. So what we want to do is we want this to round off. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take the normal multiplication that's happening inside these cells, and we're going to put it into something that rounds it off, and that's going to be our nested function. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand this out so that you can see what's happening step by step. The function, the formula that we've already got right here is b4 times c4 times d4. Now what we're going to do is instead of just doing the multiplication, we're going to start off with the round function, and into the round function we're going to put in b4 times c4 times d4. So we are nesting the multiplication inside of the round function. And that, at the end, will give us the ability to round it off to two digits and get the real number instead of something that looks like that number. You know, if it says $4.90, the round function is actually going to be $4.90. It's not going to have any extra decimal points. Whereas in the previous one, you did have extra decimal points. And you can see here, if I do the total of those three cells, it will tell me 1047 instead of 1046.
That's our first example of nested functions being useful. Take b4 times c4 times d4, nest it inside the round function, and you get the benefit of rounding that off to two digits. Until next time, be spectacular at what you do.